Hey everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rao, your online instructor. And in this video, I am going to help you how you can prepare yourself for the certification of Azure Administrator. As you know that uh, we talk about Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. So I think I have already uploaded multiple videos, multiple uh, topics based video over our uh, YouTube channel. So if you just open my YouTube channel and click on playlist you will be find the n number of playlists based on only related to the azure administrator so you just need to click here and uh, find azure admin so see multiple up to 46 different videos are available in azure administrator related content in hindi and also i uploaded uh, videos based on ag104 in english as well right 54 different videos are available based on the content of uh, azure administrator but now uh, see in 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 playlist i have already covered the entire topics which is required to crack the examination of ag104 so it means that we have uh, enough content uh, to prepare ourselves uh, ourselves but now i'm just going to give you some tips how you can prepare means uh, uh, because you know that in case of our global administrator it's really difficult uh, to achieve 700 uh, marks or means 75 uh, 70 percent of uh, uh, marks in final examination so you must need to give a proper time to prepare yourself so i'm just going to give you some tips like uh, for example you are planning to be an expert as a not only for the azure administrator if you plan to be an expert as a azure fundamental you are preparing yourself for the azure architect like 305 or you want to be uh, you you want to be a certified of azure virtual desktop so basically for the entire azure certification um this particular strategies can help a uh, strategy can help you to crack the examination so what you need to do very basic step just need to open any browser and type your exam code right like i'm going to help you how we can prepare ourselves for the azure administrator so that's why i'm going to type azure ag104 as we know that ag104 is a um, course code related to the administrator and you must need to open the microsoft dot 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 microsoft dot com and it will redirect you on the new page or new latest uh, uh, dashboard of our certification latest dashboard of our uh, course content so what you need to do just need to check click on the major skills not click just need to uh, find the option of is skilled made measured so as we know that azure administrator categorized in uh, uh, five different module you can say that the first important part is related to the active directory manage azure identity and governance that can help you up to 15 to 20 percent of course content implement and uh, manage storage it also help you 15 to 20 percent next deploy and manage azure compute services so in the part of azure computer services you know that uh, um, we need to know about the concept of virtual machine creation, VMSs, about the availability set, how to manage the NSG, how to add a hard drive and manage the hard drive with our virtual machine. So these all are the topics which is are a part of, uh, you can say that, uh, uh, deploy and manage as your compute services. Next, once you complete the part of uh, compute services, you need to prepare yourself for the networking. Virtual network in the sense I'm talking about the VNet and VNet pairing. So n number of topics are available. I'm going to explore each and every module and try to understand about the core topic or core topic which is available in our module, each and every module. Last option, monitor and maintain Azure resources which can help us uh, 10 to 15 percent. So this is the topics that we need to cover. These all are the module that we need to cover for the examination. Now uh microsoft updated lots of things related to the study and i'm not going to pay any amount for the uh, any kind of dumps i'm not going to uh proceed for any instructor led pay training uh because we have option if you have a time and if you really want to um become a azure administrator certified or any azure certification you want you must need to follow this particular option right so see the first important part is uh, azure ag104 prerequisite for administrator account so i'm just going to open in on an, another uh, uh, page you can say that and just need to verify the prerequisites right so according to the prerequisite you should know about the introduction of cloud computing like as infrastructure platform and services and uh, 
uh, you should know about the types of portal means the options which is available on portal use the azure portal use azure cloud cell use powershell how to manage the services with the help of cli and c in each and every module we are able to find one option is uh, knowledge check right actually in case of knowledge check you are able to find three r4 r6 r8 according to the content that you learned according to the content you will be find the number of questions and these questions are really helpful to uh, crack the final examination of uh, any azure certification especially i'm talking about the azure it may be azure uh, fundamental or uh, maybe uh, as your architect or maybe as your administrator so do one thing i'm just going to open each and every page and try to understand about the topics right according to the requirement like as a use portal second important part use as your cloud cell and as your power cell right so and also cli you should know about the cli so we are able to find if we talk about the use the azure portal we are able to find the azure services it's just a common screenshot of our live azure portal and uh, we should know about these uh, topics like as a uh, resources services and uh, documents managed resources you should know about what is use of cloud shell about the another documentation so whenever we open the azure portal it will guide you each and everything second important part what is use of cloud cell so basically i'm just going to show you the practical whenever we open the azure portal it will give you a corner means uh, it will give you a w one option that uh, uh, redirect you on a particular cli panel so you can say that the cloud cell contain the features of ps power cell and bas this is the cloud cell icon right not only the azure every cloud provider can give us option to manage the services with the help of uh, you can say that powershell and bas so no need to provide any kind of credential it will be redirect you on the page of powershell because we selected a powershell but we are also able to manage the services with the help of bas command so actually both are related to you can say that uh, uh, command line interface that can help us to manage our services or create a new services just need to click on power shell and you have option to change your uh, dashboard or change your uh, cli panel and now it will redirect you on the page of bas so you can say that in single word cloud cell contain the feature of power cell and bas as well correct and a number of uh, options are available like as a, if you want to create a resource group you want to create a virtual machine a anything so you just need to copy the command and paste on the browser CLI, as per the name suggests, command line interface. It's uh, in, it means that we are able to use our on-premises CLI if you are using Windows operating system like Windows 7, 8, or 10, and you want to use and control your Azure services with the help of CLI. So you just need to uh, follow this particular option. In this case, you need to download a one tool, install on on-premises, and you can control every services through the on-premises machine. Right. So these all are the topics that you need to learn because you are preparing for the examination and also for knowledge check. So let me open the knowledge check panel. Actually, the motto is to just clear the entire questions related to the knowledge check, right? So three different questions are available. Just need to check your company is built in video editing application. Okay, try to understand about the question application that will be off uh, that will offer online storage for uh, user generate uh, video content the videos okay you just need to read carefully fine so the quick test and uh, assist the way to create the storage account so i think we have a both option to create it we can proceed with the azure portal we are able to create a azure cli and power cell because each and every option can help us to uh, create the storage account right so i'm just going to proceed with power uh, uh, using pa azure portal the azure cli can be installed on which of the following right so azure cli definitely we are able to install on windows and another administrator is managing azure locally using powershell they have launched uh, powershell as administrator which of the following command should be exact uh, execute first right so in this case we just need to proceed with 
get uh, connect as your account because you must need to connect your account and after that you are able to execute the services of resources and about ag subscription so let check click your answers right so congratulations means it means that you have uh, already uh, successfully provide the information about uh, you successfully provide the question answers related to the question okay actually yes uh, latest update due to latest update yes we are able to use our cli option from our windows operating system and uh, you can say that uh, linux machine as well so do one thing it's not mandatory you are able to provide the uh, correct answer for every knowledge check but you are able to find the correct answer after submitting your uh, assessment you can say that so what you need to do you just need to write down or uh, you just need to take the screenshot of these questions and just compile the data and make a pdf and according to that you need to prepare yourself for the next topic as well like Second important part is manage identity and governance. So what you need to do, it will guide you. It will give you the complete information about the topics, about the content which is required for the administrator means which is for uh, Active Directory services. So in this case, a number of options are available. These all are the points that you need to learn. One, two, three, four, five, six, six different uh, content you need to cover in case of uh, configure Active Directory. Let me check uh, knowledge check and how many questions are available. So in this case, we are able to find four more questions, right? So like that in every module, in every module, you will be find up to four to six different questions and you just need to provide the information. You just need to uh, solve these question and it will also assist you about uh, uh, if your question, if your answer is wrong, so it will assist you. You must need to change the um, uh, answer next time, right? So this is the really, uh, you can say that uh, helpful for uh, examination, not only for the administrator, if you want to prepare, if you want, if you are preparing for uh, uh, fundamental or architect. So in both cases, especially for entire Azure certification, you are able to perform, you are able, uh, you, you just need to follow the same step and same method to prepare yourself for the examination. Guys, this is the complete information about to prepare yourself for the certification. And I hope you all of you understand about the concept. And that's it for uh, this video. And we'll connect soon with another session and discuss more about the uh, cloud services. So thank you. Take care and bye-bye. Please do subscribe to Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Bye-bye, guys.